Let's, let's swipe and then we're gonna go to small mode. If you wanna turn the heater on, this is a shared piece of equipment and you know that the, the filter pump is on right now, but this is a shared piece of equipment. When we wanna turn the heater on, then we wanna isolate the large body of water and make it a small body of water. So we only want to pull water from the spa and return water to the spa. And so it's a shared piece of equipment. So we'll go under the spa mode and then we're gonna turn the filter pump on and you'll see that it's gonna turn it on, all right? And so then we're looking at these actuator valves. You see these are called actuator valves. So we are turning off the pool side. You'll see right here that it says off on this particular type of uh, valve, it's a jandy valve. And then that one is turning as well. This one is finishing turning over here. And so we're cutting off everything pool, and now we're going to only pull from the spa. This, this stuff in, in front of the pump is the pump suction. And then uh, after it goes out of the pump, it goes into the filter, and then it's filtered and then it goes through the heater, and it's heated if it's heated, and it goes through like a chlorinator, and then you're gonna go back to the pool right here. So this is the return side. And then the stuff in front of the pump is the suction side where you have the skimmers and the main drain, stuff like that. So what you're doing in small is that you're coming over here. We just turned on the filter pump in the small mode. And why we did that is because that gives the, the program, the, the, the OmniLogic, the signal to turn those actuator valves. So that's what we did by turning on the small pump. We're saying, hey, I want to isolate that small body of water now because I'm about to heat that small body of water. And so we turn the filter pump on. It changes the valves. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in over here to the heater. And then now we're going to turn the heater itself on. And then what you would do is once you, once you hit that, you hit that uh, heater and then you here's your set point uh, here's the actual temperature here showing you put your set point at whatever you want it at um, probably you know the max is going to be 104 you know usually people put it around 100 9900 something like that and then you're going to hear you're going to hear the heater itself on. This is in board, this is BO board mode. Alright, so you just heard the big And then you can put your hand over here above the back of the heater and you'll feel hot air coming out if the, if the Omni Logic turns on the heater. This is the proper mode, so it stands for B, it looks like 6 0, but it's actually BO for board operated. This light is supposed to be here beside the spa area and it's supposed to be BO. To put it in board operated mode, then you're going to hold the mode button down and the minus down at the same time for it to run in board operated mode and take signals from the Omni Logic. And so if it's not in BO, then it will not take signals from the Omni Logic. Like let's say if it, if it, if it didn't have that, then you can manually cycle through the modes. This is spa mode, this is pool mode. You can manually turn the heater on, on and off by using the mode button here and then adjusting the temperature settings. That's how you can manually run this. But in this mode, it's BO and it's taking the signals from the body logic. Alright, so we've got the heater running and then uh, if you had something else, like let's say the blower, uh, this is just a either on or off kind of thing. You're just gonna come here and it's gonna stay on until you turn it off. So I just turn it off. The blower adds bubbles in the spa uh, and so it blows air in there and makes it uh, real fun. And so uh, let's go in. I'm gonna turn the heater off for now. So as soon as you're done, with everything spa related, then you want to turn stuff off. So if you turn the blower on, you need to turn it off. If you turn the heater on, you need to turn it off. And then the last thing, once you're done with the spa, you want to come in and turn off the spa pump. 
And then what that does is that it's going to reverse the valves again. See the valves changing automatically. And so now we're going to uh, we're going to turn off everything spa. So that's why the off is going to off or closed is going to be facing whatever area is going to be off or closed. So this is turning back around to the spa. So we're we're not uh, pulling any water from the spa anymore uh, to isolate that small body of water. We're back into the pool mode, and that's going to allow the system to kick back on. Um, to circulate the large body of water and that's basically it um, uh, that in, in the spa area you have the same kind of things you don't have to worry about the chlorinator uh, for the chlorinator related to the spa just keep it off in a zero because like I said before the the main system in pool mode is sending water to the spa to chlorinate it it is part of the big body of water um, and then lights, uh, same, same thing. You can go in under lights for the spa area or under pool and see the same options. So you can turn it on or off under spa or pool and they're all tied together and that give you the, if you, you choose a light show, then they're going to run the light show. If you choose a single color, they're all going to be a single color. Um, and that's pretty much, that's pretty much it as far as understanding the Omniologic system. Uh, one more thing, the number, uh, if you need to, the five digit number to be able to set up um, uh, set up your online account with the OmniLogic app, then you go to system info, so you're here, you're in the main screen, you go over until you find config right here and then you go under system info and when you click system info the five digit number the msp id is going to be right at the top of the system info that will identify your particular system all right and then the last thing i want to show you uh let's go back to config and then you want to hit network and whenever you select network then it'll come up and show you uh whether uh, your uh, internet access is working so if you're using the uh, antenna then um, you may you may have to have a boost or something on your router so you can get the signal correctly say the signal strong enough um, I'll show you what it looks like when you when you get in here in just a sec after you hit network then you're gonna come here under dynamic and then if all of these numbers are all zeros or dashes then uh, it is your this OmniLogic box is not connected to properly to the internet. If you're using a uh, actual wired connection straight from the Ethernet port on your router, and then a Cat5 cable all the way out and plug it into the Omni, then that is a straight uh, connection, and so then it shouldn't shouldn't have a problem uh, connecting. And you'll see different things here instead of just all zeros or all dashes. If you see all zeros or dashes, then it's not it's not actually uh, connected properly. So you can hit off, see, and it just goes like that. You can hit, hit back on, and then it should look, recognize your local IP address for your uh, system, and then have some other numbers and stuff here. If it is showing like this with a local IP address, then it is uh, connecting properly to your router and then therefore it'll be able to you'll be able to use your app to control the OmniLogic system. If it's not working properly uh, then you need to contact whoever set up your uh, connection to the box to troubleshoot that for you. Uh, for the pool that I deal with it'll be me. Um, that's that's all, uh, all we wanted to show you. Hope this training video is helpful. If you have any questions locally here, contact me related to OmniLogic issues and uh, understanding your system. Thanks. We'll see you next time.